Hi there, rural life is so enticing for us city folks, isn't it? Never-ending fields, clean air and simple lifestyle. One doesn't need to set an alarm and rush to catch a train or book a cab. Must be a bliss, I guess, and it is not. Well, the rural areas are somewhat familiar to factories that make raw materials which are then carried forward to make the finished products that then reach us in the markets. The wheat, bajra, maize, rice, sugarcane are all processed further to give us the final goods. And all the activities that are performed in the farms, all of them fall under the purview of agriculture. And that is our topic for this video. Let us learn how agriculture and crop cultivation works around the world. Welcome to the first segment of the chapter on agriculture. What comes to us as a finished food product in the market is a mix of several raw materials that are grown and cultivated in the farms. And this transformation from a plant to a finished product involves three types of economic activities. Primary, secondary and tertiary. All activities that involve extraction and production of natural resources are called primary activities. For example, agriculture, fishing and gathering. In the second stage or the secondary stage, activities are concerned with the processing of these natural resources. Manufacturing of steel, baking of bread and weaving of cloth are secondary activities. But the primary and secondary activities would be futile if the products do not reach the consumer. And tertiary activities do just that. They provide support to the primary and secondary sectors through services of transportation, trading, banking, insurance and advertising. Like I just told you, agriculture is a primary activity. And the word agriculture is derived from the Latin word agar or agri, meaning soil and culture, which means cultivation. Agriculture is basically the science and art of cultivation on the soil, raising crops and rearing livestock. It is also called farming. Now, agriculture includes growing of crops, fruits, vegetables and flowers and rearing of livestock. You already know that agriculture is the major occupation in India. Two-thirds of India's population is still dependent on agriculture. Well, 50% of the world's population is also engaged in agricultural activities. Favorable topography of soil and climate are vital for agricultural activities. The land which is fertile enough to grow crops is known as an arable land. Now, if you take a look at this map, you can see that agricultural activities are concentrated in those regions of the world where favorable factors for crop cultivation exist. And you can see that there isn't too much of green on that map, which means mankind has to find smart ways to increase agricultural production in order to meet the ever-increasing food demands of the population. A while back, I defined agriculture for you. Here are some other activities that fall under extraction and production of natural resources. To start with, we have sericulture. It is the commercial rearing of silkworm and it may supplement the income of the farmer. Next is pisciculture. It is the breeding of fish in especially constructed tanks and ponds. Then we have viticulture. It is the process of cultivation of grapes. And finally, horticulture is the farming of vegetables, flowers and fruits for commercial use. Now if I say system, say banking system, what does it indicate? It simply indicates that there are certain procedures or processes that are carried out at a certain time and in a specific time period in order to attain certain results. Most things around us work in systems, don't they? Be it transportation, the jobs that your parents do, your academic year is also running on a system, right? Let us now look at the other types of farming, which is commercial farming. Like the name suggests, 
Commercial farming involves selling of the products in the market to the consumers. Crop cultivation and animal rearing is done in order to sell the produce in the markets. Now in this type of farming, the area under cultivation and the amount of capital required are both large. The machines are used for most of the activities. Commercial farming includes commercial grain farming, mixed farming and plantation agriculture. In commercial grain farming, wheat and maize are the most common commercially grown grains. Temperate grasslands of North America, Europe and Asia are the regions where commercial farming is carried out. These areas are sparsely populated with large farms, which are spread across hundreds of hectares. Some regions where commercial farming is done experience severe winters. This restricts the cultivation to a single crop only. Next is mixed farming, where the land is used for growing food and fodder crops and rearing livestock. This is practiced in Europe, in the eastern parts of United States, Argentina, Southeast Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. Then we have plantations which are vast stretches of land where only one type of plant is grown. For example, when I say there are beautiful tea plantations in Assam, it means that there are vast stretches of land that only cultivate tea. Organic farming is another type of farming where organic manure and natural pesticides are used. This is done when overuse of chemical fertilizers and pesticides become harmful for plants and soil. So that was all about the various types of farming. And when we meet next, we are going to discuss about the different types of crops. So stay tuned until then. Bye. Tutomit. For more amazing video lectures, download the free app on Apple App Store or Google Play Store.